Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of the Ramadan series Motivations. Um, I'm quite sleepy right now. Hopefully I can still utter myself clearly. May Allah give me that strength. Ameen. Uh, today's motivation is from an ayah in the Quran. It's in Surah Ali Imran, the third surah of the Quran, uh, ayah number 83. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billah min ash-shaytan rajim Afaghayra dinillahi yabaguna wa lahu aslama man fi s-samawati wal ardi taw'an wa karhan wa ilayhi yurja'un A rough translation is follows. Is as follows. Um, are they going to take, other than the deen of Allah, a lifestyle or a way of life? Where, whereas, or while, Everything in the skies and in the earth are submitting to the will of Allah, either voluntarily or involuntarily, and to Him, to Allah, is the final return. All of them shall return eventually. Uh, before I explain why this ayah can be a motivation for us, I want to give you a little bit of a background. In the time and age we are living in, uh, and also in the society that we're living in, it's easy for Muslims to feel inferior. <coughs> it's easy for Muslims to feel apologetic. Uh, right, we see the mainstream narrative or the mainstream trend in the world, especially in the uh, powerful civilization right now, in the Western civilization, is secularization, right? Is is devaluing and debasing of religion. Uh, it's literally laughing at all kinds of spiritual thoughts. So the idea is, you are a Muslim, and people would say to you, well, "Come on, it's twenty first century already. You still believe in a god that you can't even scientifically prove." And more than that, you are still willing to restrict yourself, you know, hold your back from so many things and, and do so many uh, you know, actual actions because of this God you can't even see. Come on, man, that's just that's ri ridiculous. So the mainstream narrative tries to pressure pressure you and stress you into thinking that submitting my uh, to the will of Allah and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not rational or is not um, smart. Whereas that is not the case, and this ayah gives us the motivation to counter that kind of narrative and to be confident as believers, as people who submit to the will of Allah. Because Allah says, He directed our thought to the word much beyond human word. He said, are they going to take a lifestyle or a way of life besides the deen of Allah? Are they, are they going to try to live in another way? Um, the every well, but the thing is, everything in the skies and in the earth are submitting to the will of Allah, either voluntarily or involuntarily. Look at the sun, look at the look at the moon, and look at the stars. Look at all of the natural things, the trees, animals. They all follow certain rules, right? Natural laws we call them, and they submit to this, you know, grand, overarching uh, system of laws. The sun never said one day that, you know what, I'm tired today, I, want, I, I don't want to go out. The earth never said, I don't want to self-rotate today. The moon never said, I don't want to rotate around the, the earth today. Can I take a one-month vacation? That never happens. So objects in the natural world, they are literally submitting to the will of Allah 100%. So they are our fellow Muslims, right? Only human beings have been given the free will to choose not to obey. Um... But even even so, the the people who can choose not to obey Allah subhanahu wa taala, they are still obeying Allah in some very basic, fundamental, biological ways. I always I give this example. I, I tell my non-Muslim friends when they when we have conversations about Islam, I say that you are a Muslim already. You know why? Because you are breathing, even you are not consciously deciding to. You have to. You are submitting to the decision of Allah that you have to breathe. You don't believe me? Try not breathing for three hours. Can't do that? You are a Muslim. Okay? You, you, you don't want to be a slave of Allah. You don't want to submit to the will of Allah. Then don't eat for a month. Don't drink for five days. All of these are impossible for a human being to endure. And that means we are submitting to this law. We are submitting to this, you know, decree and to this decision that is made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are, you know, uh, all of us, all of human beings are submitting partially already. And that is involuntary. That is by nature. That is biological. So all Muslims are doing is only one step further. So for the things that I don't have a choice, I'm obeying, of course. So because of that, I decide to and I choose to obey even in the things that I, I do have a choice. I obey 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the things that I can choose not to obey, but I still do that uh, because He is the Creator and He is the Lord of the world. So everything in the universe, Allah says, is obeying Him and is submitting to His will, either voluntarily or involuntarily, and all of us shall eventually return to Him. So the next time you feel pressurized, the next time you feel stressed, uh, you know, or rejected, or inferior, or lonely, uh, because of the, you know, mainstream narrative in a society, or because of what people say, or what people think, or what the media bombards you with, look at the moon, look at the stars, look at the sun, they are submitting to the will of Allah. So all of the things beyond human word, which is so much more than the human word, are submitting to the will of Allah. And human beings, they are also submitting to the will of Allah in ways that they don't know, in the in the fundamental basic ways. So we as Muslims are not strange at all. We are not weird. We are not uh, outcast. We are just normal. You know, to be Muslim is normal. To submit to the will of Allah, to live according to how he designed us is normal. That's everything in the universe, right? So non-Muslim is not normal. <laughs> I'm saying this This is politically incorrect. I don't say it like, uh, as if it's wrong. I'm just saying that being Muslim and being submissive to God and being obedient to God is natural. Uh, and so we should be confident. Hopefully that can be a motivation. This ayah can be a motivation for us to be outspokenly Muslim. You know, I, I wear this on the street in Hong Kong, uh, right, in Ramadan. And people give me weird looks. And, well, this, there's nothing uh, uniquely religious about this, but I'm not shy to be a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not shy to let people know that I'm a Muslim. Hopefully this can, you know, this ayah can give us that kind of confidence. Uh, everything is submit submitting to Allah. We are doing the same. There's nothing special about us. And uh, we shouldn't be afraid to let people know about our deen or about our faith. So uh, thank you for watching. I know that because I'm too sleepy today's video is probably not as, uh, as articulate as before or as you would expect. But stay tuned. There will be more videos uh, in, the, in the days to come. Thank you for watching again. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa